And Excuse that's... me, who's talking back there? Shut up, science bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 the mod. It works. The mod. It works. Here for a black. Glorious day. Rejoice, everyone. For the mod beverage. works. Dog meat. Are you ready? Dog meat. Are hey. you ready? For the most glorious oh, mod you will ever you. see. Nice to make Behold, it is. Here's a song for you, amigo. Dog slippers. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love them! Oh, you're so cashed out now, dog meat. They're like kitten mittens except for puppies. Oh, Kira likes to see. She's checking you out, dog meat. You're looking dapper as fuck now. <laughs> ah, the walk. Oh, dog meat. You glorious, glorious beast. <laughs> Guess we started the video. Hi. I get really excited over stupid mods <laughs> that are fantastic. Oh, hey, Hancock. I haven't talked to you in a while. What's up, hey, man? Hey, Hancock. Look who it is. You heading out again? Nah, I just, I just want to talk and shit. What's going on, brother? You still interested in traveling together? You even gotta ask that? Damn right I am. Nah, I'm, I'm just playing. We're not going. Not I'm right hanging now. out with this robot Suit lady. Um, speaking of stupid mods, wow, everyone's turning up, huh? My back hurts. My feet hurt. Yeah, cool story. Everything Everybody's hurts. turning out to check out Dog Meat's new groove. I can tell. You're all impressed. Yeah, don't even try to deny it. Or they're so, here for the ready to get hot dog cart the road? or something. I don't know. We had... God, what would hot dogs be made of in the post-apocalypse? I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> Let's go somewhere and do something of a somewhat importance today, shall we? In instead of this, you know, pooping about. Now, I'm going to tell you something, friends. I bet my bottom bottle cap that these railroad folk want to know what? Sounds important. Oh, that these railroad folk want to know all about my trip to the institute. I bet, I bet, I, I bet, I bet. The most fascinating rumor. Oh, the yeah? story goes that you actually found the institute, been there and back again. Sounds yeah, crazy, just like right? Bilbo. Oh, it's bitch. crazy. Where'd you hear all that? Where'd you hear that? Deacon brought it to my attention. And, as usual, he won't give up his source. It, his source is probably the teleporter in Sanctuary. It's, uh, it's physical evidence. It is also true. It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. Now, let me tell you a little background. When I first heard Desmona float this idea to me, I thought I was turning my back on the Miniman. Really, the, if you side with the roller, it doesn't mean anything. So, yeah, sure, whatever. You want to hear, lady? I'll work with you then. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name Patriot. So you need to infiltrate the Institute and make contact with Patriot. You know, um, I'm not going to lie, Desdemona, as a Falcons fan, I loathe the Patriots. And by proxy, anyone named Patriot sounds impossible. I can't safely contact someone we've never met who has no idea we're trying to do so. Patriot sends us one-way communications. Tom's devised a way to use those messages to send him a message. We can plant a coded message on an institute terminal, and if all goes well, he'll respond. Just see Tom, and you can proceed from there. Okay, I guess. But yeah, if you agree to work with the railroad just there, it has absolutely no bearing on how the ending of your game will end up like that. Why'd you dislike that? What? What? Curie? 
Why? I feel like we don't understand each other lately. I thought we... I don't, I don't. Dog meat, I understand you. You're a dog that loves slippers and teddy bears. This I understand. Robot girls, I'm, I'm at odds with right now. Hi, Tom. Hey. Oh, man, you were actually there? Inside the belly of the beast? Yes, sir. No time for that, though. Let's set you up to contact Patriot. I got here one genuine Tinker Time special. Just load her up onto a holotank, plug her into any institute terminal, and execute. Baokai. That it? Just pop in a hey, eight track. It's the wanderer. The wanderer's oh, hey. back. Oh, that's my name. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I went to the institute. It was pretty badass. Uh, should we talk to these other people? No, let's, let's try to keep it on topic today. I'll try to keep it uh, uh, in a singular focus or whatever. Let's just go to the Institute and pop in this 8-track. So, is it weird that I want this teleporter to make a, a, like a, a stupid noise whenever it teleports me? Like a fart noise or something? I can't how truly humbling it is to stand in your What's presence. with your eyeballs? I know you'll Freaky. achieve Freaky. Okay, I'm answer. out. I'm out. I don't want to talk to any of you people. I just need a terminal. Hello. Here we go. That reminds me. I can totally... Hack these now. Master terminals with the gun, of course. No, let us not use the gun to hack the terminal. Let us uh, load the hollow tape. If I can, I can't. I can't actually use this one. Well, you're looking for my mom or dad. Shut up, child. I was not looking for your mother. Currently, all right. I'm not horny. <laughs> I'm saying I'm gonna huh? plow your mother. Fuck. I have to spell That's it out for these kids. Now. They don't understand on Tondra at all. Alright, just give me a damn computer. Fine, I will use the novice computer because I don't want to spend days hacking a master computer. There it is. Jeez. Okay. Load hollow tape. What are we doing? Which one is it? Encrypted message hollow tape. There we go. Did that do anything? Play tape. No, what no, what what did I do with the tape? Enter. Jeez. Okay. Uh, message from Thomas. The big D <laughs> demanded a tutorial be included. So here it is. Blah, blah, blah. Patriot, blah, blah, blah. Nerd shit. Copying message. More nerd shit. All the nerd shit. Acknowledged nerd shit. And nerd shit complete. Okay, cool. Give me the hall tape back. Out. Let's see, what are we doing? <laughs> I totally forgot. Uh, questicles. Meet Patriot. Local. Where? Whatever. As long as I'm tracking it, that's fine. Okay. I believe the man we're supposed to be talking to is over here. Here we go. I believe I have found him, friends. And I will confront him thusly. Hello. Hey, it's me. Hi. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. I did. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. Uh, I just did what the nerds told me to. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Liam Binet. My father runs Synth Development, and everyone knows who you are. Ah, uh, yeah, that is true. My reputation precedes me. Also, Tom cracked it? A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Not really. Wow. Your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? Uh, he, 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 he forgot the ad with benefits part. The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in the railroad? Yeah. And they gave me a code name too? Yeah. I kept sending sins to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. Uh, I'm going to downplay them. If you met them, trust me. You wouldn't be that impressed. They've eluded the SRB for decades. They've got to be incredible. Me. With you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of synths. At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. Oh. Um. Okay. I'm good you know at that. my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. It's pretty badass, actually. Right. Heck. You look positively normal to me. The fuck is I mean, that supposed no to mean? No offense, 
positively normal? Is this what looks positively normal to you, sir? I'm not sure this if we is can not ever make the believable casual a conversation. Place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Agreed. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I was busy being offended. I didn't catch all that. I hope you understand, okay? It's kind of what I do. I get offended by very little small things, okay? Hey, what, what are we doing, by the way? Whatever. Uh, is this guy? C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z-1. She's a friend. She's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? You don't. You don't. Excuse me. I must focus on my duties. She's not <laughs> oh, I'm just being real, She's man. She's helping our synths escape on the surface. <laughs> it's safe. If you insist we speak in front of her, do so quickly. Right now. How many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your sense to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Are we done? Hey, are we Liam. done? Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Oh my god, as long as I don't have to deal with the nerd side of all this shit, then yeah, fine, I'll help. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, uh, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Uh, okay. Well, I'm a little nervous. Your plan makes me nervous. Z1 and I have been working on elements of this for years. The doors are the only thing stopping us. But finding the password is going to be tricky. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago. But some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Oh my god, this is such a nerd episode. It's like, Meh, I need login credentials. That's what you people assistant. sound like. I'm sorry, I didn't mean you people. I mean the science bitches over here. You sense you're all right. These science nerds, man. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, now that I'm done complaining about science nerds, let's go back to the world and tell more science nerds about the science nerdiness we just had to endure. I am absolutely frothing at the mouth with science nerdiness right now. Ah! Hi, Des. You're busy. Okay. Let's hang back, crew. Half of you know this already, but something's so big. I can't ask people to keep it secret any longer. The rumor is true. One of our agents has made it inside the Institute. Is this what Tinker Tom was working on? Yes, Tom's work is related. But the device and the assembly was the Wanderer's doing. After the device was assembled, she made it inside the Institute and then back out. Where is the Institute? We're not sure exactly. Best guess is that it's somewhere under the old CIT. But they've been using a teleportation device to get in and out, so it could be anywhere. What did she find out? I know you all have questions, but I've said everything I'm going to. But know this, the ops you're planning and running now are the most important of our lives. We have a chance at rescuing more synths than we ever dreamed of. So get it done. Carrington wants work. Okay. Yeah, I noticed you told me. I'm still not talking to that guy. Because he's a science nerd! And I've met my quota for the day. Hi. Have you met with Patriot yet? Yes, he is. You know, I've, well, I've been over him. He's a nerd. I met Patriot. So we can share yes. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. What does Pam need a terminal? Can't she just process stuff 
inner Where robot is head Diamond or something? Uh, well, maybe it's for other people like Security me. Hi, Pammy. Communication impossible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, if you were hanging out with railroad people after you do a bunch of uh, brotherhood stuff, Pammy will see you as a potential threat and won't talk to you. Pammy, talk to me! Pam. Intruder countermeasures active. This unit is incapable of voice communication. Yeah, Pammy doesn't trust us anymore because she's a predicting and analytical mind fucking robot. I'm pretty sure that's what that stands for. Okay, uh, let us type things. Beep bop bort, boop bop, beep beep. That was not done in post. That is a practical effect. You're welcome. That's what we do on the Grim Booze channel. Practical effects. Hi, Pam. Pam. Preliminary analysis complete. Anything we need to move on. Affirmative. Code name Patriot requires admin credentials for Code Defender Security Software. Cross indexing CIT Security Administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census Records. Filtering by surviving structures. One match found. Bergman. Wilfred. Bergman. Wilfred, registered as co-owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Estimated 81% chance of login credentials being located at this facility. Okay. Uh, I'm going. I'll be going then. After you get the password report back here. Oh my God. With any luck, we'll have a game plan by then. You are so dapper. I can't stand it, Doug. <laughs> okay, uh... The name of the game, friends, is we must venture forth to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. There within the bowels of this bastion of corporate fart knockery, we shall find the password we seek. And so help me God, this game makes me partake in any corporate fart knockery Welcome I will rage. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? God damn it. Sure. The world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? I have no time for this. Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Oh boy! Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would oh you like boy! Any orientation before beginning your work in the labs? No! Move it along! No, let's just move it along. Due to staffing needs, we can forego the orientation at this time. Please follow me. To I gotta tell you, robot, the only so thing keeping me from killing you right now is I'm trying to be a nice person because we're trying to be a good example for our robot friend over here. She looks like a human, but she's actually a robot. You're saying things right now, which is actually a pretty rude thing for me to do. Bad example already, but what can I say? Corporate fart knockery and science nerd shit have got me on edge today. What can I say? It's Those are my two Achilles heels. Sales staff are provided with a business suit. The cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Oh Please my God! Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. The research that... staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. I should have gotten some mysterious serum before I came here. I did not. I definitely did not. All right, well, going to get our uh, daily dose of radiation today, I suppose. Am I in? Am I good? One accounted for? Okay. This? What are you talking about? Agreed. Yeah, okay. Don't don't believe the robot over there. That robot's a real dick. She's, she claims she's trying to decontaminate you from some radiation BS when she actually contaminates you more. She's a real jerk. Uh, also... Oh yeah, there's a lot of science stuff going on. You know, I'm sorry, Kiri. I've been talking a lot of shit about science nerd stuff today, and you're into that stuff, and you know, it's rude of me to say it. I, I, I apologize, okay? Wow, good shoot. 
You want this one, Kiri? Dog meat's on it. Oh, you got it. You got it. Good job, team. Way to go. Proud of you guys. Keep morale up. That's what we do on the Grimboos channel. Okay. Let me tell you a little something about Cambridge Polymer Labs. They do polymer science stuff. It's really annoying. Um, here's how it works. There are samples of stuff throughout this place. You don't know what they are because, well... Your player character is not a science nerd. <laughs> She's a lawyer nerd or an army guy, depending on who you chose. Uh, scan loaded reagents. We have hydrochloric acid. Okay, what do we actually, I need to find out what we need. Not that it's gonna help me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, fabrication parameters. We need. Well, how do you want you Isotope, to you, wait, what is your it? Old friend, dusty dude oh, here. lithium hydride and. Gold. Okay, so the name of the game, if you want to do this, get the bonus prize out of this place, is we need to go around looking for these uh, mysterious vats of whatever the hell they are uh, all the time while shooting ghoulies and uh, identify them. I'm going to take that, identify them at that station, find the lithium hydride. Was it lithium hydride? I'm pretty sure it was lithium hydride and gold. And yeah, then you can get a not very good piece of power armor the out of the deal. Has been Have they? Oh, I see him. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry, team. Best friend shotgun will take care there of them most quickly. I think that too. Can we shoot? Oh. Let your enemies have been dispatched. Don't refer to them as masseur. You honor them too much. Okay, if they were enemies that were worth a shit, yeah, sure, call them Monsieur all you want, but these are scrubs, Curie, alright? No need to give scrubs titles. They are just this fodder. If, if you were to give them any titles, give them the title of fodder, because that's what they are. Okay, did I miss any? Bam. Alright, super secret trick number alpha, zeta, whatever. I, I don't even know what I'm doing this. You need to go around here, friends, because the door is locked the other way, I think. I don't know. And I think there's bad shit down here. If I recall correctly. Bad. Is that it? Uh, let's see. There's. I swear. Okay, bats? Haha. -ha. Bats, you were so useful. Okay, bat. Okay, that could have been problematic for me. Cool. I think this is where our password is. Pretty easy getting the password. Not easy getting the bonus prize. <laughs> Not that it's worth it at all. Uh, let's see. Password request. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Good job, Grim. I believe enemy detected. Oh, there's enemy. Oh, it's okay, Kiri. It's all right. Don't worry. I got you, boo. Okay. I think we have all of the... Uh, Mysterious iso isotropes. <laughs> I, I I was gonna correct myself there, but no, I think that's an astute observation. Isotropes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Why is that thing still there? I got the password. Whatever. It's just whatever. I'm not even gonna worry about. It. I think I've unlocked this door. Yes. All right. Oh boy, more hacking. The best part of this game. I'm in. Boom. Wow, that was actually kind of easy. Security door control open. Okay. Now, you remember earlier when I was like, oh man, I wish I would have brought some mysterious serum with me. Well, there's a, as you can see by these radioactive barrels here and that uh, glowing ghoul right there. So, we are being shot at. Enemy unknown. You're not being shot at, Curie. What are you talking about? You need to update your sensors, girl. Wait, you can't do that because you're a human now. You know, actually, no. I mean, hi, glowing guy. Um, you know, I, I, I've been, I've been, um, what's the, what's the word? Beefing up on my, uh, my Hegel philosophy lately. Ghost in the Shell kind of took from him a little bit. And, uh, they talk about how, or he talked about how the natural evolution of mankind is through synthesis. And, uh, the, the idea of a cyborg is the, uh, perfect metaphor for that synthesis, which is why Ghost of the Shell goes along with it. If that holds true, Curie is, like, one of the most... Oh, I need to load in some reagents. 
Kira is like one of the mo she's like a pioneer of that sort of synthesis. She's not you can't call her human. You see her on the street, you're like, oh that's a human. No. Nah, she's not even close to being human. Synth body, robot mind. Kinda crazy if you think about it that way. Uh scan these. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Wait. Gallium? Oh, I think this is lithium hydride. Yeah, okay. Which one is the gold? I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna try that. 611? Okay, let's try that. Scan. Uh, bam! Nailed it. Okay, I don't know what those other ones are, and I don't care. Let's load that. And then. I think we're ready to run the fabrication routine. So much corporate fuckery today. Now we get to watch the process. Pretty amazing stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hey, what are you doing, Kira? You having fun over here? That's good. Now we have the piezo piezo nucleic power armor chest. Excellent. It's pretty garbo. How do you <laughs> but I mean, your hoax, dusty dude. Oh, Kira, you love that. Oh, that's fantastic. We did a good today. Um, it's not great. <laughs> it's not the best. Hey, robot, I'm done. instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Oh, my God. Have more corporate fart knockery. Piezonucleic. I did pronounce it right. It's done. The prototype is done. Wonderful. Mandatory overtime mode disengaged. Clean room override disengaged. The director will Mandatory want to see this overtime? That's Please, bullshit. Follow me. What am I, a game designer? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a bummer. What they gotta go through, man. It's friggin'. What, what is it? I don't know. They work a lot of overtime when they gotta meet arbitrary schedules. So I've heard, anyway. I don't know. I've never designed games. Wanna hear a story? I tried modding Skyrim the other day and I failed miserably. All I wanted to do was a ballot swap. Failed miserably. <laughs> Turns out it's a little harder than you would think. Uh, for you modern people out there, you're probably like, Oh, what are you trying to do, Grim? I'm like, I was trying to open a DDS file with GIMP and it wasn't working. And I don't know. I did a lot of research and I couldn't Believe figure it out. I, we've been I gave up out of days ago, and spite. Now I'm going to take this telephone and so throw something. This is Director Elwood's office. This. I expect he will be quite excited to see the prototype. Yeah, 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 I'm sure he will. Ah! I was trying to shoot that in midair. It would have been so cool. Oh, look. The director's a ghoul. Oh, wow. He just cut the director's arms off. I'm gonna call HR about this. This is clearly not cool. Okay, there's company standards we upkeep. One of which is don't chop your, your boss's Sir, arms off. Wonderful news. The Nucleus Dricted Blading Project has finally produced a working prototype. I must apologize for the director. He hasn't been himself lately. Must be the office flu. Must Feral be. Feral systems indicate that I have been authorized to provide you with a completion bonus at this time. Here is your bonus, minus taxes and benefits. Son of a bitch! Unfortunately, due to a lack of projects, dollars. we must lay off redundant staff members at this time. Oh no. This is not a reflection on your work. And we will be happy to provide you with a positive reference. Oh, gee, Shutting thanks. Down. Fucking, if you would have stayed alive, robot, I would have killed you. But you beat me to the punch. Well, the director's dead. And we get a comic yes. book. Yeah, what are these kids doing? Scars are cool. Oh, hell yeah, kid. <laughs> okay, cool. We got the password. I'm going to shoot an extinguisher. Damn it. Video ruined. All right, anyway, I guess we can continue with this crazy plan of this science nerd down the Institute, huh? I suppose we can. Uh, let's do that next time. See you. Bye!